is Anna and welcome to Cactus Caffeine. In this channel, I share with you my passion of growing cactus and other desert plants over a cup of coffee. So as you can see here in front, I have a grafted cactus. So this is a rebutia. Um, thank you to Clyde Morris, Vanessa Surya and Daz for giving me the proper ID of this cactus. This is a rebutia or rebutia heliosa. So I posted a picture of this in my YouTube community page a week ago and in that post I said I am not the biggest fan of grafted cactus and that is because I just don't like the way it looks. It For me it looks unnatural so if I can grow them in their own roots I prefer them to be growing in their own roots. Although I understand the advantages of grafting a cactus for one, it makes the cactus grow faster and also it minimizes the chance of having a rot because if ever you do get a rot, the first one that will rot is the base or the rootstock. So you call this the rootstock and you call the top one, this is the scion. So if you ever you do get a rot, you'll most probably have the rot first with your rootstock before it reaches your scion and your main cactus so i understand the benefit but i just don't like the way it looks so if i can grow it in its own root then that's what i will do i made an exception on this one because i found this in a nursery here in las vegas and rebutia are not easy to find here usually my rebutias i order them online so they're very hard to find here so when i saw this i um decided to buy it and also because of the pops growing around it i know i can propagate them and grow them in their own roots but the deciding factor for me to buy this is because it was only five dollars <laughs> yes i think it was on sale because it was the last one there so i think that's why it was on sale so i got this one for five dollars anyway my plan for this cactus is to remove the big pops today and try to propagate and root them on their own so that's what we are going to do for today so i'll try to take only the bigger ones and leave the small ones on the mother plant so i think i can do it yes oh that wasn't a clean cut okay i would have to probably slice this straight so it's kind of tricky because they're all clumped very tight together so let's see which one we can take out So this is not as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> I would have to be very gentle because what we want is actually a clean cut or a clean snap off from the mother plant. But because they are packed so tight, it is kind of hard to take them off. There you go. So this is what we want. This one is a rather clean, clean cut. So the smaller the wound at the end, the better.
now that I've removed several pops, it's easier to remove the rest now because there's more room for me to wiggle the pops. And also before I did this, I tried counting the pops. I counted 32 pops in it, growing in it. So I think it is really worth the $5 spent on this cactus. Okay, see, there's another pop right there. So Rebusia Heliosa, according to Clyde Morris, this has bright orange flowers. And it's not very spiny too. As you can see, I'm holding it without gloves. It doesn't hurt my hands. Okay, so maybe this. I'm not going to take off everything. I'm just taking out the biggest ones. I will let the tiny ones grow a little bit more before I take them off from the mother plant. So I think I have enough pops here right now. So let me show you how I am going to root these pops. Oh, my coffee is getting cold. Mmm that is good coffee so this is what i'm going to use to root my pops so these are actually takeout containers it comes with lid and we're going to use the lid and i'm going to explain later why and i also have here some rooting powder so if you don't have rooting powder you can use cinnamon as well but since i have rooting powder i might as well use it so we're just going to dip them all in there. Okay, and this one, this one is the one that I did not do a clean cut. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it straight and let it dry first. Let it callous over for a few days before I will plant this. So as for the rest, so this is just a takeout container that it has holes. I made holes on it. I just heated up nail and then I drove it straight right there to make those holes. And then I am just going to use my cactus soil. Nothing special, just straight out of the bag because we're just going to use this to root the pops. So they will not be here permanent. It's just used to until they form their own roots. So here are my two containers and now we are ready to plant this in them. So just lay them on top of the soil. Don't bury them too deep. I put too much rooting powder in this. <laughs> Don't put them too deep, you know, just enough for them to be, to sit on top of the soil. Just like this. So here are the little pops or offsets right now in their tiny containers. And what I am going to do is I'm just going to spray it lightly. Just uh, moisten the top of the soil. So we want um, damp soil. Damp but not too wet. Okay, because this doesn't have any roots yet. We just want some moisture to encourage them to shoot out start shooting out the roots all right and then after spraying it with water what i am going to do is i am going to cover them loosely not tight so i'm not gonna seal it it's just a loose cover like that so there is still a tiny hole there where air can uh, come in so the reason i'm doing it is because i'm trying to increase the humidity so your pops or your cactus will root faster if you have higher humidity. But here where I live in the desert, we have a very low humidity. So to compensate that, this is what I do. 
I try to cover them and increase the humidity inside. Now, if you live in a in an environment or in a place where there's naturally high humidity, then you don't need to do this. But right now where I live in, it's summer right now and our humidity is at 4% today. So I have to help these guys um, a little to increase the humidity. So this is what I'm going to do. And I'm going to place this in a bright sunny window, not direct sunlight until they have their own roots. So that's what I'm going to do. And um, hopefully in a few weeks or in a month's time, they'll start showing signs of root growth. So I do this method if I have very small cactus pops that I am trying to root. So I'm going to show you one that I did before. So this is a lobivia. This is lobivia arachnacantha. And I took out the pops from the mother plants because there were there were too many covering the mother plant, so I took off some pops. And when I took them off, they were so tiny. They were so little, like this big ones were as small as this. And then the small ones were even smaller before. So I did this method be before on this seed, on this pop. So it was covered like that. And um, I place it in a sunny window inside my house and after I would say after a month I saw signs of root development on these pops so all these now are rooted although these have been in this pot for I would say four or five months now but they are very well rooted and I keep it open now I don't cover it anymore because they are firmly rooted now on the soil so in terms of watering these, I don't wa I don't pour water on them. I just spray the top. Whenever I see it going dry, I spray the top with water. And I only start pouring water on this if I am definite that it has formed roots already. So just try tugging on them. If uh, there is resistance, then you know they have rooted. And that's the only time that I start watering these guys. And uh, But as of now, it is just spraying them and keeping it covered loosely like that. So that is it for my video for today. And I am interested to know what your opinion is about crafted cactus. Is it a yay or nay for you? So let me know in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like cactus and other desert plants. So until my next video, bye and cheers.